my name is Jose Villa Medina. I'm from Tenancingo, the, the state of Mexico, age uh, 35. And I like to work on cars. <laughs> Since I was about three years old, my dad's a mechanic, and um, since then I, I've been, you know, working with cars. And my 85 Ram Charger with the 300 line, it's a four engine. My my dad made it into a a Ford, and I like it because it's very. It has like a lot of room to work on it, and it's real easy to work on. I guess it's a blessing that you know that God's given me. You know that I can you know work on cars and and you know I guess be good at you know what I do and you know, sometimes some kids might be a little bit cruel or they're curious, but it it went pretty good. You know I, I learned to you know live with that and learn to tell me, you know, this is the way I was born and They have to like see it for them to believe it. Tengo fotografías donde está todavía eh, sin calzoncillos, trabajando ya con una camioneta, ya limpiando balatas, tenía como cuatro o cinco años, cuatro años. Es, es, es un vencedor, digo yo, yo digo es un vencedor porque desde muy pequeño estuvo a punto de perder su pie, se, se quemó una pierna jugando con gasolina y de todo, a, a todo ha sobresalido. Una bendición ese muchacho. Así. Those carburetors, carburetors you gotta pump in a couple of times. And it's not like the fill injection where you just start it and it starts up.
every Sunday because my my dad drives my automobile. Sometimes there's not gonna be like people to help you out, and you gotta do it on your own. And that's what had, that's what my dad encouraged me, you know, to to do things. So I'm, I'm happy, you know, that he's pushing me because if if, if it wouldn't been of that, then I probably would, would not have been, you know, the person that I am right now. I can, if the things I can do, and I think anybody can do it, I just have to, you know, get, get to it and do it, you know, no excuses. This year, Texas State has had a difficult time fitting the record-breaking freshman class into on-campus housing. Even with the opening of two new residence halls on campus this year, some freshmen found themselves homeless for the first few weeks of school. Many resorted to living off-campus for the fall semester. Since we are the largest freshman class, uh, there have been quite a few uh, students who have been uh, relocated or have had to move off campus because there's not enough space. Space was so limited that some residence assistants were asked to room temporarily with freshmen while housing was sought. RAs aren't supposed to have roommates, supposed to have our own rooms. And so being with a roommate for about a month was kind of a, a bummer for most. We were not looking forward to it at all. By now, most students have found their permanent homes for the semester. Those who were inconvenienced were compensated for their trouble. For Bobcat Update, I'm Joy Smith. High school students were given a warm Bobcat welcome this past weekend at Bobcat Day. The day began with informational sessions, which took place inside of the McCoy School of Business. Students were told about the university's many opportunities. University Ambassador Adam Zavala says he wishes he had participated in Bobcat Day when he was a high school student. And I was like, oh, they have so many opportunities. And I mean, granted, as a student, I realize the opportunities now. But prior to that, I was like, I had no clue. The day also consisted of an academic majors and student services fair in the LBJ Student Center Ballroom. The athletic department and others were there to show students a variety of organizations. University ambassadors also provided students and their families with campus tours. Some university ambassadors said they are sad that their time at Texas State is almost over, as they have cherished it so much. You know, my college journey is coming to an end, but they're just beginning theirs, and you can tell they're so excited and scared at the same time, and it's just a great experience to share that with them and, and see them start their journey here at Texas State. Some of the students who attended Bobcat Day say they are already sold on Texas State. It's their number one choice. I wanted to get into the criminal justice program, so they told me they had a really good program here. Bobcat Day happens only four times a school year. The next Bobcat Day will be on November 15th.